so good as far as fans of upset see things, but this one, Johnny, may be very different indeed. Resolve, they used all five games to get through the Swiss yesterday, and they're up against Team BDS. Yeah, definitely looking at straight to schedule through that Swiss as well. They look like the eighth best team in the playoff bracket, so they've got a lot to prove right now. Uh, but we're already seeing some, uh, uh, you know, some upsetting results to the French community. Uh, some upsetting games going the, uh, against them. We haven't actually seen a non-French team take more than a game off any of the French teams in playoffs so far this season. So, you know, if Resolve could get one game, that might be the, the start of something special. The start of the doubt that BDS would have to worry about. It could well be the catalyst, but BDS were looking supreme yesterday all throughout, and Drowning, the player that Shogun highlighted, is at the forefront of that. Since coming into them, looking more and more the part the Moroccan, as the Moroccans were put on A in our uh, international tier list as well, so part of a special select few players. Is he? But on the other side, you've got Resolve, you've got Cash and Ivan who have come in, already Ooh. combining here against Team BDS, making them do some defending. Razias finishes okay. it! What a start! Well, that is the perfect start for Resolve. Everybody getting involved. Cash initially starting the attack, and then the immediate follow-up by Ivan. Razier's bounces in the loose ball as BDS start to panic a little bit. And this is already turning into a more interesting game than a lot of the viewers would have expected. BDS have just been rolling everybody online. They've been completely unstoppable until they play against Carmen Corp. Well, now that's changed. They can't resolve. Can they defend? They've already shown that they can all get stuck in an attack with confidence. Can they defend against BDS offense later on in the game, though? The resolve, they're certainly looking like this is the team, that this is the roster that the Org wants to have. I was saying on the pre-show that everything seems to be working for them, for a team that is building its way back up, trying to target that top seven, top eight level here, and they have made it here into the top eight already. So if they keep achieving playoffs, then that's what they want to at least begin with. From there, you want to keep on getting wins, keep on getting goals, and already against no way. the <laughs> more dangerous. Cash just saving his dodge. Nobody read that apart from right at the end. Monkey Moon, they're looking brilliant so far. Yeah, that was a ceiling challenge flip reset uh, by Cash. Phenomenal stuff. That's uh, very, very hard to predict. Now, Monkey Moon looking for the drop down pass. Easily covered by Razier's big clear down the other side of the pitch, and that's going to be chased by Ivan. Oh, it's an outlet pass to Monkey Moon, though, who's boostless. Leaves it for Exotic. Oh, what a fake. What? It's in off the bar. Monkey Moon just leaves it for his teammate. I'm sure that Team BDS are one of the best teams without boost in the entire world right now. Monkey Moon had nothing in the tank, but still opened the door so wide for Exotic. The Resolve defense couldn't deal with it. And there you have your quick equalizer. Yeah, you can see the goalkeeper was positioning to defend against Monkey Moon. Well, no goalkeeper positioning to defend against Ivan here. That is a disaster for BDS. They've uh, played for the kickoff win here, and they haven't got it. Exotic turned up the line a bit too far, couldn't get back, he covered the cheat from Ivan, and their goal is completely cancelled out, 2-1 to Resolve. Resolve continuing to show their danger, and show their fangs right now to Team BDS, who have to try and dust themselves back off all over again. Monkey Moon has some clean control in the centre, which will do him uh, the, the world of good right now. Exotic Johnny, for me, is one of the most improved players for Team okay. BDS. This is the man that is stepping up time after time mechanically, but even for him, it's not quite working so far. Yeah, we really wondered coming into the season, how would Exotic fit in this roster? Because Rally is such a fast mechanical player. Monkeyman loves to play that aggressive Rocket League. And Exotic, for most of his career, was known as more of a defensive player. But he's revolutionized his own gameplay, really uh, turned himself into a extremely well-rounded player this season and uh, has been a large part of the success for this roster. They're in a bit of trouble here. They're in a lot of trouble. Ivan makes it 3-1 once again. Resolver not afraid to get the entire team forward. It's loose defensively from Team BDS, but credit to Resolve again. Cash continuing to make a nuisance of himself. And right now, the comms, they're loud, they're proud, they're confident too. These guys completely in synergy with one another. Team BDS, I don't think you can quite say the same about them so far. Yeah, they, they've struggled defensively to read these misses, to read these uh, fakes from uh, Resolve. Oh, it's a good vehicle for BDS, actually. This one, a bit of a surprise. It is immediately after a kickoff, so there's a bit more volatility in the play. But oh, uh, wow, Cash just completely misreads that. He had a full tank of boost, but he just drifted towards the near post a bit too much, did not cover the infield pass. And that is a careless mistake in defense. It's allowed BDS to come back within one. 
team BDS currently the fourth seed in Europe. So of all those sort of supreme four that we have, that we have recently learned, can be felled. They're the ones in the most trouble, in the most danger of Lunar Galaxy, of Oxygen Esports just below them. Resolve not quite in that conversation just yet. Maybe a look to next season for them. What they would love to do is make their way towards London, especially with Cash there, the Englishman, leading the way in the copper box. How great would that be for him? They're going to have to do some more defending first to get to that point. If they are to make it through this quarterfinal, a long way away from that so far. But it's the dream start, really, from them. And they have continued with that. Um, the, 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 the difficulties they had yesterday in the Swiss. They've learned from them oh, clearly. Wow. Ivan puts it to the side. We're still having so much of the ball in the Team BDS half. Yeah, look at the passing as well from Resolve. They're trying to keep the ball under control here as two of their players ran dry and boost at the same time. Just over 90 seconds left to go in game one. Resolve still up by a goal. There's been some careless defending at both ends, but Resolve have played with the aggression that you need to play with, the confidence you need to play with if you're going to have any chance against the best teams in the world these days. I don't want to see them loosen that uh, grip they've had in the midfield towards the end of this game. They don't want to get passive. They're not going to get passive. They're going to punch oh. another clear. Oh, what a save by Drally. Just pulls out of the goal before it crossed the line. Desperate time so far for Team BDS. They do have a counter, though. Monkey Moon trying to wriggle his Octane around the ball. Can't quite do so, but they will keep on pushing. Drali's watching Raziers. Raziers just tries to keep the ball as far away as possible. Is in the resolved corner, which can be awkward for both teams, as Exotic has to push it back towards Drali. 50 seconds left, Resolve continuing to press, not sitting back with what they have, but this is where it could backfire. BDS, another chance to counter. Ivan sends it wide this time. BDS, you feel they're cooking something, Johnny Boy. Another chance comes in, Drali forces a save. Exotic doesn't have the angle, and Razia sends it wide. Yeah, BDS up with the pace here in the closing minute. They need the goal to come back, but it's Resolve withstanding that defense, that offensive pressure at the moment. They've defended their back corner boost. That's massive for them. Boost was starting to become a bit of an issue, but they broke it free. Is Exotic potentially one more chance for Team BDS if he can get things going fast. Monkey Moon's in the air. Sent out the sky there by Raziers. Not giving Monkey Moon an inch. They've done so well so far, Resolve. Monkey Moon does beat their uh, Raziers. Cash, one more opportunity. Does he go for the stick or the twist? In the end, it goes up in the sky. Ivan could finish it. He sends it down. Monkey Moon catches, and Drali helps him out. This is still an opportunity for BDS. Exotic towards Monkey Moon. Up as fast as anyone as ever. Cash, though, does some great work to send it to his ears. Wow. I'll tell you what, Johnny. Team, loving being around each other, enjoying spending time with one another. And I think you can see that on the pitch, you know, that there's no egos in this team. There's no one player desperately trying to sort of be the big man. No More than working for each other. Look how much work Raziers is doing. It is saved on the line by Team BDS again. But the work continues for a uh, result. Oh, that looked like a surefire goal, but I think it was it was a play for a block instead of the open net. And they're going to get a goal now. And it's no doubt from Raziers at this play, dispossesses Drally and immediately oh. pre-flips off the wall. That is a great finish, using every ounce of boost that he had to put Resolve up again. I mean, this is phenomenal from Resolve early game. Yeah, the recovery from Raziers was quality. The pre-flip into the ball, running out of boost on route and still connecting with the perfect part of his vehicle to get so much power on it. That is a world-class goal there from Raziers. Actually got world-class goals in him all over the place as well. Here is Ivan. Look how much control that Resolve are having. BDS having to scamper back to their own half time after time. When they do get a clearance, who does it fall to? Yet another Resolve player. Finally, BDS get a clearance. Drali's in front of the ball, which you want to see from Team BDS. And this is where you question Resolve. Are they able to defend oh. against BDS? Oh, will help them. Monkey Moon finally has a chance to oh. cross bar again. And Cash gratefully smushes it away. Well, yeah, BDS will not be too happy with their accuracy there. The underside of the crossbar, the worst part of it to hit when it bounces down into the ground and then over the crossbar out of reach. Would have been better to hit the crossbar flush or just hit it into the net, the net directly. The here come BDS again. Exotics up uncontested, but the backboard's covered by cash. Monkey Moon's going to keep it going, though. BDS have definitely stepped up in the last 30 seconds or so. Another chance comes in. It's Raziers, the hero at the other end now. What a game two he's been having, exotic, from the ceiling. Ivan's falling, won't be able to get there, but Razier's, he was caught onto it fast. Comms have been perfect so far for Resolve. They have to be against Team BDS. That may continue now. Monkey Moon shoots, but it's weak, Johnny. His shooting has at times been not ideal, and that was another example.
Yeah, I really need Monkey Bit to step up. He's in my goal for game fantasy team, so that's not good enough. But, you know, Monkey Bit, he's had some issues with his shooting at the Copenhagen Major, and now not the most confident shot there. You know, usually, like I said, we'd be seeing Monkey Bit just drill that full power towards the top corner. And that was low and slow, not what we're used to seeing from him. Rosiers on the other hand though, he's been making everything work down the other end, he charges down Monkey Moon, calling in Ivan, it's another wonder save from Drali on the goal line, the only player really stepping up right now for Team BDS, can the others join him, Exotic's attempting to, Monkey Moon, he shoots again, it's wide just trying to get the double, but here's a chance for the counter, Cash, Rosiers is up, Cash leaves it for Rosiers, does he, yes he does, can Rosiers, oh, yeah, well not quite, Cash with the opportunity, and BDS's goal line defending has been their best asset in game two. Yeah, I don't know if they know too much about half of it, though. The ball's been in front of their goal line, and, you know, sometimes it's fine to keep the ball close to your net. These are not easy positions for BDS, so they are having to scramble and just hope for the best as uh, Resolve just try and knock their door down time and time again. That's a great cut by Ivan there. Cash running out of boost. He would have known that, of course, with the lovely boost update we've got to show exactly how much uh, players are working with. It's exotic. Tries to offload to Drally. It's shut down well by Ivan. The challenge is coming through. That's an open net. Can Exalted oh get there? No, he can't. My. It's 2 0 resolve. That is not a goal you score often against Team BDS. Just rolling it along the floor from your own half. Cash had a sense that Exotic couldn't get back in time, and his instincts were entirely correct. Resolve running rings. You know, I said earlier on today that so far this season, none of the teams outside of the big French four teams. I've taken more than a game off the big four in playoffs. This would already be two, but not if Exotic has anything to say about it. BDS are on the board. That was a bit too easy that time. Razier's getting dunked on, Cash missing on the backboard. You know, they've played to such a high standard today, Resolve, that we want to see better than that now. We don't want to see the ball getting dumped down in front of their net uncontested. Yeah, especially these slightly shaky moments from Cash in defense. Oh, what a read. Cash, oh, oh whoa. From the kick of Johnny, I'm going to sit back, talk us through it. Oh, that's unreal. Look at this fake from Resolve. Ivan fakes the kickoff. Close Street comes right in behind it, and it goes straight down the middle of the net. And I mean, that has completely left BDS dumbfounded. Point blank range fake kickoff, Close Street. I mean, that is commitment. After conceding, they say, you know what? Let's just go all in. Everybody keep an eye out for Johnny Boy's YouTube channel, which has a 46 minute replay of that goal incoming. But BDS, oh. they're not going to stop and wait. They're going to get one straight back. Yeah, it's more like it for Monkey Moon. Top bins, banger after Exotic flies the crossbar. And that's exactly what we've come to expect from Monkey Moon over the years. Confident finishing. Is he going to be back at his best? That would be a nightmare for Resolve to deal with. So they've not been running away with this. We got 3 2 in game one. Now 3 2 in game two as well. Similar kind of timeline remaining if they're going to hold on to that lead until the end of the game. Resolve have been winning the bulk of the kickoffs, though. They've scored a couple of kickoff goals throughout this entire series so far in a couple of games. Here is Drali. Kickoff long gone now. He fakes underneath Ivan. Razier's can pull it away. Send that one forward. Keeps it for himself. Cash is just chasing down Monkey Moon. Can he get him? No, Monkey Moon wriggles away. Tees up Drali. BDS beginning to oh. the ball at their old self. Oh. In front of the resolve goal. What? Monkey Moon! Skews it high! How? <laughs> I don't believe it. Just we've complimented his shooting moments ago. That was super open. That had to have been a completely free net. Now, Monkey Moon didn't want to jump too high and go over the top of the ball, but you've got to put that in. Uh, it's like he, he knows that he's in your fantasy league, Johnny. It's like, oh, Johnny's won enough. I'm not having that. I'll, I'll get assists all day long. Whenever am I finishing? There is still 40 seconds left, though. BDS have to shake that one off. Monkey Moon, a player that, you know, does have the odd collapse in him, has to shake that off. There's been a couple of moments. Cash, another player who's had one or two defensively. Monkey Moon charges him down. Cash can prod that one forwards in the air towards Ivan, but instead it's just Monkey Moon. BDS, they're back flipping, they're bumping each other. A little bit messy, a little bit scrappy. Their peak for this game has long since gone away, but they do still have time oh. to make it work. Ivan doing more work, Johnny, with no boost there. Yeah, phenomenal from Ivan. Didn't have boost to go for an outplay, so he just wastes time with the low 50. Now Exotics ran dry, tries to get Monkey Moon into the play. No luck. Drally full tank, though, into the air he goes. Shut down by Ivan. How about that for a challenge? Oh, oh he's doubled it on target. Whoa. Are you kidding me, Ivan? <laughs> Ivan with a piece of magic, stealing it from the air Whoa. and then stealing in ahead of the hapless defense. Monkey Moon goes flying. Oh, that wasn't even Monkey. I don't even know who it was. I'm confused myself. What a goal that was. That is absolutely outrageous from Ivan. Resolve are going to take game two. Surely a BDS timeout on the horizon because...
respect from Resolve with a lot of the plays that they've been making. Resolve have not given them that respect. And if they can keep this up, they might even be favorites to win from this point. But do, do not count BDS out just yet. Off a timeout, they are incredibly dangerous. Let's see what they decide to go for as we kick off game three. To add more negative omens towards Resolve and their fans. We also saw this yesterday, yesterday against Team Endpoint where mm. games one and two, Resolve were impenetrable. They couldn't be scored against and they were scoring three or four goals in both of them. And then games three and four, they were quieter. They couldn't break through Endpoint. Endpoint were playing a defensive game and it worked against them, the counter-attack style. Now, Team BDS aren't going to offer counter-attacks. They're going to try and take the fight to them. But we have seen game three be a period where Resolve starts to slow down. And especially in the best of seven, it could be tough for them. I love that challenge in the back corner there from Cash. Just ignores the ball, goes for the demo on Monkey Moon instead. He knows that 50 50 in that position is just going to play the ball into Monkey Moon's favor. It's going to give Monkey Moon the momentum that he needs to clear it. Um, so he just plays for the demo in the back corner instead with a nice drive challenge and uh, wins possession back briefly. Here comes Rally, though, the other end. Shut down by Ivan. Not for the first time in this series. Exotic has to send that one long, but Ivan is just waiting for it. Letting Exotic use all his boost, allowing Team BDS to come through. Now it seems to me that Resolve are playing their own counter-attack style. They're aware that after that tactical timeout, Team BDS are going to be chucking everything at them. So if they can survive for, you know, a couple of minutes, maybe even three, BDS might get frustrated. The double commits may came out, That's as middle. we saw there. And in the oh. end, there's a chance Monkey Moon, a humongous save. He whoa, whoa, his whoa. to turn it back to his own goal. Ivan squeezes it almost in. But it's a gameplay, game style masterclass so far from Resolve. Exotic trying to take it all to his own back corner, nearly put it in his goal's top corner, but it does go away from danger. Still, Resolve, great chances, great goals! Ivan on the score sheet as a simple center ball comes through. Team BDS starting to look a little bit desperate, forcing the issue as expected. Drali misses Ivan to read that miss from Drali, who's been playing so well, shows how locked in he is right now. You know, I'm not a body language expert, but I've seen a whole pile of Monkey Moon head tilts, head shakes from, uh, you know, mistakes and goals and missed opportunities. And that might be another one. Monkey Moon has to pre-flip to save the ball with no boost remaining. Resolver all over them early on in the game here after the kickoff. They're just controlling the play beautifully. 50-50 to Cash, it's off the bar. Well, everybody on BDS scrambling. Derek Rally forced to make another save. Monkey Moon dives in the way of the next one. Now the counter attack comes through, but it's a tame one. The yeah, Resolve have to make sure that they don't allow themselves to give away a simple goal. They've got so much boost control. Oh They're goodness. having all the clean touches on the ball. The last thing they want is a P-roller just bouncing into that orange net and taking away all this momentum. So far, the balance is perfect. Ivan has been at the heart of that. His teammate misses the ball. It was Cash who flew by, so Razier's to call into action. Ivan with no boost. What, this pass. is going to be stopped oh up. Razier does get a good oh! save. And then Cash says no to Monkey Moon. Ivan still boostless, though. The shot wide. Drally unable to hit the target as the goalkeeper is left stranded. Opportunity is going astray for BDS. And Resolve have produced some heroics in defense as well. Drally looking to air dribble bump pass. He does land the demo, but the ball goes wide anyway. Resolve getting bodies back, they're helping each other out, and they are eventually getting the ball clear time and time again. Ivan is looking more and more boost up the more I see him though, which is a slight worry. He tends to be uh, getting the ball, getting in good positions, but having to dribble it forwards with nothing in the tank. That allows Team BDS forwards again. Ivan's underneath this one. That's oh under to you. Slaps it back to the Team BDS half. He's looking towards Monkey Moon. Team BDS' oh, transition game has improved. They have yeah. to score from it, and finally they do when they end up connecting. Yeah, it's a very tough read. Monkey Moon absolutely batters the ball into the backboard. And Cash was predicting a bit of a downward bounce on that one as he flew under it. Um, but the ball just came straight back flat. And it is a BDS equalizer with just under two minutes to go. Now, will there be any kickoff shenanigans? We won't see it this time. As uh, Ivan defaults to standard, that'll leave the ball for Exotic in the back corner. Double reset Hello. for him. He's Hello. past one. Ooh. And Ivan dispossesses them. Hold on. Counter attack Raziers. Oh, Monkey Moon with a huge save. Once Another again, off one. his own crossbar. But it's more backboard pressure from Resolve. They'll keep on fighting. Razias has got good boost. So does Cash. All three of them involved in the attack yet again. Ivan sweeping up from behind. Exotic's going to try and beat him to the ball and does just about manage it. Here comes Cash. He's got 100. Both of the opponents doing defense. Drali is pretty happy to see Cash's shot float harmlessly wide. Again, Resolve getting more 
in these exchanges. Ivan 1v2, looking to go 1v3. He's done a great job here. That's open. It's in! Raziers finishes what Ivan started and Resolve have another late lead. They just keep on coming. They will not stop. It doesn't matter if they concede. It doesn't matter if they miss a big opportunity. This version of Resolve only know how to keep that pedal to the metal and it is making BDS question everything. Is this a team right now in this series that's running out of ideas? Maybe, but not with Drali. Oh Offers my goodness. Ones into the equation. Still wow. Don't score. And Razier's clearance is powerful more than it had any right to be. Again, it's that underside of the crossbar that's not helping BDS out in that position as the ball went into a very difficult position to shoot. They are piling on the pressure late on the game. They'll rally quick into the middle. It's back to Exotic. He's going to try and get it off into the air, but he gets bumped completely out of, out of the way. Drally again has 100 boost. Challenge comes in immediately, and it doesn't matter that Raziers gets outplayed. He's just giving cash time to Gelman behind him and take away the ball. Rosiers is going to send this one away every second. Massive as far as Resolve are concerned. Ivan charging down Drali's shot bravely. Monkey moves the player that it falls to next, but only Cash is in his way. It's Cash up against Exotic. If Ivan can win this one, Resolve are in such a good position. Exotic has to oh, make wow. this happen now, but it just flops down towards Monkey Moon. Rosiers charges him down. Monkey Moon, maybe. One more big opportunity. Drali and Monkey Moon trying to combine. Not going to happen. Wow. Ivan sprays it wide. <laughs> Can they do the unthinkable and sweet BDS? Resolve are up 3-0, and uh, we're only at game four. Well, does this continue to be the day that the rest of Europe makes its statement? Earlier on, we had Oxygen felling Carmine Corp. Perhaps this would be an even bigger upset. Resolve, wanting to break into the top eight to make these playoffs and make these quarters, have four opportunities to make the semi-finals and championship Sunday. I'm curious how many championship Sundays these players have made. That's a question for the statistician, but they're far from here every week, Johnny. I and mean, this is where you, you just need to stay locked in. Resolve have put themselves in a position I'm sure not even they could have dreamed of, but now they just need to remain consistent, keep doing what they're doing. They don't want to change anything up right now. Oh, how about lovely. this revival into the middle? There was a teammate there, but it does get saved again by BDS. But that's exactly what we're going to see by Resolve. We don't want to see them get KG now, trying to uh, play out the, w the, the winning game, but they are going to concede early. It's exotic at the near post, and it looked like the rotations just came in a bit too slow here from Resolve. Ivan could not stall for long enough for Cash to get back. Yeah, his touch was a little bit heavy. It was well read, though, by Drali. And he's also just squeezing it in at the near post, giving Team DDS a rare and precious lead in this series. But they have to keep on going. I think they've learned now that Resolve are going to give them absolutely nothing. They'll keep having to battle and scrap every single goal that they get. As Razias charges down Exotic, Ivan's already oh up. Goodness. Ivan's beaten the BDS defender, all ends up. But Drali, yet again, the star man for Team BDS, as far as I've been concerned, gets himself in the way to keep BDS's precious lead. Here comes Ivan, though, can't quite land on that one. Cash tries to send it down, wanted to get the finest touch on the ball, but he was a few pixels off. Yeah, as Resolve continue to attack, we saw Monkey Moon accidental side flip not too long ago, and that's a rare, rare sight. Monkey Moon, one of the fastest players into the air. Not today. Oh, what a play though by Drally. Surely Monkey Moon can't miss from here. And it is buried straight down the middle. 2 0 BDS. Monkey Moon, the open goal master, was never going to put that one wide. <laughs> Look at this. It's top quality play from Drally. Also, the backflip was to get out of Monkey Moon's way as well. Yeah, Monkey Moon wasn't messing about. Just, just roll it. I'll take the goal. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of that finish. I like it. Nowhere near the posts, nowhere near the crossbar. No nonsense. 2 0. Ivan again, showing the power of the 50-50, getting a lot done with very little, and now bringing Cash into the game. And he's going to tape down air roll and see if he can get past it as many players as he can. BDS should be winning from here. This is a very BDS game as they take an early lead and then continue to try and add to it. And it's also all about pace as well, and Team BDS, that's normally how they dominate their opponents. They have come up against Resolve, who are playing the, the speediest and yet still most controlled series of their lives. BDS finally find themselves winning one. A couple of goals to the good. They have to make the most of it. This is the team as well that has felt the sting of a reverse sweep against them, Team BDS, way back. I believe it was in the opening uh, open qualifier against Carmine Corp. They were 3-0 up, ended up losing it 3-4 in the semi-finals. And now they're trying to put that boot firmly on the other foot. They have to continue with what they're doing so far. His exotic, he gets the flip reset. A third goal would be lovely for Team BDS. 
Resolve making it difficult for them to get it, but here comes Exotic, has a chance to thread the needle, and he manages it, and BDS are looking good. Yeah, BDS are just in full swing now. This is what they do. They just attack from all angles. They deny clears. They put pressure on their opponents, and they get goals. 3-0 resolve. Have to just uh, throw caution to the wind here if they're going to have a chance of getting the sweep. Or will they try and instead plug the holes in defense and try not lose by 5, 6, or 7? They don't want to give BDS too much confidence here by allowing them a blowout win. Johnny, how much of this would you say is Team BDS stepping up and how much Resolve feeling extra pressure now they really could win this series? I mean, it's inevitably a bit of both. The last game against a favorite like BDS is always going to be the hard one. No matter how many chances you've got at it, getting that last game across the finish line can often be so, so difficult. But BDS have definitely looked a little bit cleaner in this game with their offense. They've been arriving more quickly. Uh, they've actually been there to put the ball into open nets, which is not something we could say for every game in the series. And boost control's been better as well. I mean, just there with that defense. They were coming from the, the sideline to get the ball across the line, but there were two BDS players, both of comfortable boost, which has not been the case so far this, se uh, this series. That one team coming up against there. They're comfortable with the challenges in 50-50s, and maybe resolve part of them are just beginning even subconsciously to write this game off and look to game number five, but there is still time. 80 seconds left. If Resolve can get one soon, oh. the BDS spooks will return. Ivan gets in the way of his teammate. It still might work out, but Exotic is able to send that one sideways. And BDS will be happy that this one slowed down somewhat. I mean, even just uh, a late goal for momentum would not be uh, bad for Resolve. They're still pushing for the win here with a minute to go. I'm sure we'll see some kind of creativity from the kickoff if they can get a goal in this situation. The BDS are not giving them a shot on target, far less a goal. As, uh, Ivan has to take the ball to his own back wall to try and get it past Monkey Moon. Still time for resolve, but it is rapidly running out. Yeah, only 45 seconds left. Team BDS, they'd love a fourth just to grab that extra swathe of confidence. Monkey Moon and Cash fake each other out. It allows Razias to get a redirect towards goal. Nice little play there from Razias, but I think, yeah, they're starting to play as if this one maybe fairly over. Clean rotation's the order of the day at this point. Drago, though, would love to get a flip reset. Off the back <laughs> and he does. It's sublime. It's fourth. Yeah, it's a, a backboard triple from Drelly there. Instead of just shooting first time, as the Razier thought he would, just plays into the backboard again with a reset, and then buries it. 4-0, it is a blowout for BDS in Game 4. Just a harsh reminder to resolve that this is not over. In fact, it might be far from over, even though they've got three more shots at match point. And a timely reminder as well, 14 BDS, that this is what they're capable oh of. This is what they can do to teams when things start working. One of the more momentum-based teams in World Rocket League. And that momentum is certainly building its way up now, Johnny Boy. Yeah, I wonder like, if there's a case for calling a timeout here. I know it's only one game, but uh, BDS have just scored five. They are going to roll this momentum straight into the next game, I, I fear, if we go you know, into game five with no timeout called for resolve. I would be very afraid that we'll see BDS take a two, game, uh, two goal lead in the first minute and just uh, you know, keep pick up where they left off in this game. Uh, you know, whether or not they want to change their strategy, I don't think they should. I think resolve have played a good winning strategy. A good I think BDS probably want to get straight into the game and that's what we're going to do is game five and uh, let's see if BDS can just keep rolling with that five nil momentum. A big game in their back pockets. Team BDS looking more like the terrifying prospect we know they can be. But Resolve, they've been stepping up this entire series. They've also been starting games well as well. So they will back themselves to step their own pace back up and not be overawed by this Team BDS offense. As Razias goes into the center, Cash is to his side. That combination wasn't really there in the last game. I don't think any Ooh. combination for Resolve was there at all. Ivan still the key as far as I'm concerned for Resolve. Yeah, like an, uh, like an Ivan simple play, you might need that when you've got players Whoa! like this on the bench, Cash with the ridiculous read. I mean, try and read this on Remedia's POV, Razier's is up for it, and Cash just says, nah, this one's fine, don't even worry about it. Blistering pace, backward double. I don't know if I've mentioned it, Johnny, I'm a bit of a fan of that player. It is that ability to just slam <laughs> in goals from any angle, I mean, it was a nothingy bit of play. It was looking like we, go, we were going to enter some ping pong, a relatively slow start to the game, and then suddenly Cash demands the ball, slams it home. Charlie's doing oh. the same. The world's slowest musty, but it'll do. Yeah, what a play by Charlie. Got a little bit of help on this one. His Razier slowed down, and Exotic bumps Cash out of the way, so the follow-up challenge never came through there for Resolve. 
And, you know, that brief hesitation there from uh, Razier's might have been uh, the problem. Because, you know, waiting just a touch before diving in. That's not something we've seen a lot from Resolve in this uh, series. Usually their initial challenge is immediate. And I'd like to see it be immediate the next time around. So early doors, both teams peaking. Resolve have stepped up. BDS have stayed at their elevated state. He's going to have enough to take the series. Exotic, he sends it forward. Cash, though, is already there. Sends it to Razias, who's been in and out of the series so far, mechanically. He's up to the backboard. Charlie sends it away, so it's good pressure for a little while for Resolve, but once Team BDS do get the ball away, it does it pretty dangerous for them, especially with Charlie sweeping Cash away in the defensive corner. Exotic's oh. coming in. It all came from the demo. It all came from the clearance. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you need to have some player at the back post for a quick center pulse. Look at that from Exotic. Sticking around in the box, not leaving autopilot to go back to midfield. And Rally centering at the speed of light, has a teammate waiting for him at the end of it. And now this is starting to get more worrying for Resolve. Can they answer back? Not yet. Rally crossbar pinch save. Razier's is going to have to suddenly find himself unexpectedly do some key defending after that pinch. I don't think he was quite anticipating that would be needed at this early stage. The same pressure continues. Ivan still low on boost. Cash gets an all-important double to buy a few seconds for his team. Charlie's able to keep the attack going for Team BDS. Ivan just slaps it backwards as much as he can. Monkey Moon's coming in. Ivan has to charge him down again. More good defending from him. Upping the save counter. So far, the only player for Resolve with any shots is Cash with three. Oh, oh! We'll say that counts as a shot. They wanted a shot. They'll score an own goal. Why not? Oh, that's definitely a 1v3 by Drowley. Flip reset, mind game, and then the four stone goal as well. And you know, that fake was really not as much of a fake by Drowley as much as it was the defender just faking themselves out. Drowley had no boost. He had no way of getting back to the ball. But from the defender POV, they're so scared of Drowley air dribbling back into it that they went way too high on the challenge. Well, you predicted a two-goal lead for Team BDS if there was no timeout after the last game. They've got there in the end, Johnny. They had to take the long way round after Cash's wonder goal. But BDS continuing to squeeze the life out of Resolve on current play. Exotic shoots it down at the angle. Cash read it. Monkey Moon keeps it going. Up against Razier's. Where does the 50-50 go? It's towards the side. And barring this pinch smashing its way in, which it could have done, it should be a few seconds for Resolve to breathe. Razier's trying for a ceiling challenge here with low boost. Able to get it out to Ivan. Let's see what he can cook up here with the ceiling double. No, no flip reset on the play. And uh, Razier's is a bit too close to follow up on it. I mean, yeah, the, the confidence is clearly there now for BDS. If it wasn't already after game four, Drally has been zooming around the pitch. Monkey Moon is looking a lot more locked in. And uh, yeah, those uh, mistakes and those head shakes that were a big part of games one, two, and three. Not really something to worry about for BDS anymore, it would seem. Exotic slams it down towards Drali. It could be four. It should have been four. Monkey Moon tries to make it so. This one is blocked by Cash towards the goal line. Here's Drali. Going for it himself. Got no boost at all. So I'm not sure that was the correct decision, but just making sure that the resolved defense is staying honest. Razier's takes it back around the corner. I'm not really seeing too many goal-scoring opportunities. The only goal they've scored this game, Johnny, has been from an absolute wonder goal, a solo play. You know, it, it might not seem like a lot, but, you know, that's just slight hesitation that I saw from Razier's on the first goal BDS scored this game. That worries me. Australia just puts in another free play double. I mean, this guy is just in the zone right now, and they are still completely rolling. Uh, resolve in games four and five. Drally too fast there for Ivan, and the double taps automatic. This is... I mean, to say again, it's got to be a timeout, surely, Cole. Hey, <laughs> I'm a big fan for this one. If, if your um, what, goal difference after the last two games is currently minus eight, you know, it may improve. Resolve may get a goal or two, but not looking too hot for them right now. And Team BDS certainly stepping their game up even further as the games and the goals fly in. Charlie slows this one down up against Ivan. Resolve just needs something to take into the next game. Neo Tokyo's going to look like a lonely and desolate place for them if and when now they find themselves there. They do not want to head to Tokyo and Japan. Exotic up against Razier's. Exotic just sending it wherever he wants the ball to go. He goes up now. He's got the pass towards Drali. He should sink this one. It's off the post. Oh. A few wayward shots for BDS, but they're getting so many clear-cut opportunities. 12 shots. No, 11 shots, so still a lot. Yeah, the uh, shot differential massively swinging in BDS's favor. That was not the case um, earlier on in the series where Resolve were seeing plenty offense in every single game. Yeah, BDS 
are back at their best. Resolve have not had an answer. They've got to think of something quickly because, you know, if they can't make this... I mean, this is the problem for me, Colors. Earlier on, I didn't want to, want to even hear about a timeout for them. I wanted to the, them to call a timeout and then play exactly the same. Try to psych BDS out a little bit. Now they might have to actually start thinking about a gameplay change because they've just been cooked two games in a row. So do you just go in and do the same thing again? Uh, maybe not. Now the, the doubts start to set in. Is that going to work? I don't know anymore. Um, as BDS do get a fifth goal, They've completely destroyed Resolve twice in a row. This is unfortunately for Resolve what we thought was going to happen this series from game one. And they have now called a timeout. But, you know, this one's for them as much as it is to uh, stop the BDS momentum. So the 87th going to make to their play style, if any. The one thing that they cannot afford to change is the pace of play. They need to match BDS pace of play or just go even faster. They've got to push themselves to the limit here. Game six, two more tries at match point. Uh, resolve off a timeout. Looking to do it in one. I think we're going to find out pretty quick if Resolve are changing their play style or if they're going to try and out BDS uh -oh. Team BDS. But when you concede after seven seconds, all that belief you've been talking yourself into may just start to dissipate. Yeah, Ivan tried to grab back corner boost there, turned before reaching it, and that gave him absolutely no way to get back to goal. You know, Cash didn't play for a safe 50-50 there. As he, you know, went more for a win than uh, a control touch. Control touch in that position may have been beneficial to get Ivan back into the play. Cash, though, does get something going straight away from the kickoff. Kickoffs were a decent weapon for Resolve in the first uh, three games. I was going to say first couple, but of course they won the first three, didn't they? And they had some key kickoff goals throughout those. But since then, nothing of the sort. That demo could open things up. Maybe that's something to focus on. I'm trying to bump BDS into oblivion. I think comes from the attack still. Drali, another clean touch in the Resolve half. It's been happening too much defensively, I would say, is where the slowness has really been punishing Resolve. As Monkey Moon charges down Cash yet again. It's all looking a little bit isolated for Resolve still, even after that tactical timeout. That was a nice play by BDS, just letting Ivan make a nothing touch as, you know, Resolve are trying to, um, trying to get the same results as they did in the earlier games. They're trying to press and, uh, you know, give BDS no time on the ball, but... You know, BDS might have realized that the quality of touches that are going to happen might not actually be anything to worry about if these rush challenges are coming through. What can Razier's come drop here? That's one reset, but Monkey Moon just catches it on the backboard, and he's got plenty of boost here to guide it down to Exotic, but that's actually not bounced as safe as they would want it. Cash with a double middle, and Razier's couldn't react in time. So close, Team BDS's goal living a charm live for a second. Exotic misses that one, so it just rolls. Still pretty dangerously into the corner, especially with Exotic bumping Cash out the way to allow Monkey Moon in, in the air. Ivan, wow, that was pacey. I was saying they were slow in defense. Not there they weren't. Monkey Moon wasn't allowed to have that ball for a split second. Charlie, boostless, tees up Exotic. Where's Monkey Moon? Is he going to be able to come in? There he is, just waiting. Team BDS slowing things down for a second or two, not overcommitting, not rushing. Realizing they really have this series in their own hands right now, but one goal for Resolve could change that, or at least in Team BDS's mind. Exotic high again. BDS low on boost. Resolve have been stealing boosts and controlling it much better in this last game. Certainly they have been in the couple that came before it. Yeah, every touch. Oh, well, I was about to say every touch from Resolve is being nullified. His monkey been almost lost control of that one, but his teammates have done a great job to gather the ball and get it right back into attack. Just about half the game gone. It's not the blowout scoreline that we had in the last two games, but it is still a BDS lead. Resolve needing to do something about it. Monkey Moon up against Cash. Cash is always a danger as far as Team BDS are concerned. They have to stay alert with the dangers that Resolve possess, even though things have been going their way the last couple of games. He's exotic with the ball into the corner. Cash has no boost, so leaves it to Ivan. And Ivan, we've seen already, is more than capable of breaking Team BDS hearts this series. His clearances, they're a little bit high as far as BDS are concerned. They're all going to a Resolve player. Never a BDS player following up. Very rarely are we seeing a BDS player in front of the ball going for bumps and demos, which is so rare. So Resolve have managed to wrestle something oh. back. Oh! Finally, they punish BDS, and you've got to say it's sort of been coming. Well, it looked like Monkey Moon had done enough here, but Drally tried to pre-flip into the ball to get a 50-50, missed it. And that leaves it uncontested for Cash. Well, one small mistake by Drally is all it took for Resolve to see the opening. And they've tied the game two minutes to go. Resolve still in with a chance to win this one, and it's a good one. A good kickoff again. Cash comes away with the ball. BDS can't allow that to happen. They have to press upon him faster. Razias is scuttling back to his own goal, not where he wants to be. Exotic takes one touch, tries to go low with the 50. 
Mookie Boo takes out a couple of defenders, oh, but somehow recovers. Jirali just punched it home, but it wasn't quite to be. Cash has to get the other touch, does he? No. Ivan helps him out instead. If this boost spawns, it would be massive for Cash, but it doesn't, and the attack should go away. Yeah, brilliant hustle by Cash in defense to keep resolve in a tie game. Ivan looking to fake out Mookie Boo in there. No luck. Mookie Boo plays the ball. There is Ears looking to keep control in the back corner. He's done well here, but is running out of boost and exotic. He just ignores him. Monkey Moon up. Matched by Cash. And it's a good bounce into the back corner for uh, Ford Resolve there. As they get more cars behind the ball. But here come BDS again. Exotic looking a little bit middle, but no touch. It's Resolve's ball. Right it's open. Here. It's been so tense here in game number six. Oh. Cash trying just to push that ball towards the goal, but the Exotic somehow, heart in mouth, managed to get back in time. Now it's Monkey Moon queuing that ball into the top corner, but not quite on target. Exotic in the corner yet again. Neither player wants this to pinch the wrong way. Monkey Moon is the beneficiary. Falls to him. Ask the question of Ivan. Jirali with a snapshot. Exotic's coming in. Can he get the clean touch that he desires? Cash. Sends it towards Monkey Moon and not Razia's. Drali. Oh, is what are they doing? Exotic. Will that no. let resolve in? No, it won't. They didn't read it. Oh, no, no one on the ball and BDS said two. They're, they're double committing on nothing there, but they've gotten away with it. 20 seconds to go. Resolve now looking for the redirect. Cash completely dusted to the ball by Monkey Moon. Exotic's up as well. Drali full tank and boost. He's not going to get there. It's Resolve with control again in defense. Razier's one more chance for Resolve to take this one before overtime. Goes for the musty, not going to get enough power on it. Oh my goodness. He's coming in though. He tees oh. up on Monkey Moon. One of the fastest players Wait. in the air. Tees up his team. Wait, Monkey Zero seconds, Exotic is pandemonium. Oh, what a touch by Monkey Moon. Unbelievable overhead read. And Exotic just gets enough juice on it to get it in with no time remaining. What a heartbreaker. Touch there from Monkey Moon. And it has taken his team all the way to Champions Field. And we were talking about Grid Serve Resolve feeling the pressure earlier. They'll certainly be feeling it now. But Team BDS have yet another Championship Sunday in their sights. Yeah, you just, you've just got to hope that the new team can keep it together here and show the performance and the entertainment that they've shown us all series long. They've been brilliant today, but... Unfortunately, BDS are still BDS. They are still able of producing runs of play that will blow any team out of the water. And those two games in four and five brought it back. And then the Iceman Monkey Moon in game six has uh, put Resolve on the brink. And so far, so good for Resolve. They have not conceded early, which is a change up from the last three games. And they want more than this. Cash is back. Um, in the car he started the series with, went to the Fennec initially, or went to the Fennec in the middle, but now we're back in, uh, is that the Mustang? I, I, I think it is, yeah. here. I think it is a Mustang. Octane hitbox, uh, which, which doesn't look like one, but that's uh, the part that always gets me overthinking it. <laughs> I mean, if it works for Cash, then it certainly works uh -oh. for Cash. He's in a bit of trouble here, though, Exotic. Staring down the barrel of that goal, but couldn't quite figure out a way to get it past the resolved defenders. As Cash charges down Monkey Moon, the first goal here, oh so important. If Resolve can steal it, suddenly the pressure just swings back towards Team BDS, but if not, it may well be that. Oh, oh it's a huge save! And Monkey oh, Moon keeps it away! How does this keep happening? Now the counter attack Exotic up against Ivan. Exotic, can he squeeze this one through towards Monkey Moon? No, he can't. Resolve, they will be kicking themselves, they didn't take the lead there. A uh, smart play there by Razier's, but it didn't pan out too well for them now. Ivan's got to make sure here not to center the ball. He does so, but it's still going to be a shot on target covered by Razier's. Good job there to have the backboard coverage. Now, Ivan's not able to match Drally here in the air. Drally reset, ceiling double, backboard, cash there again to get the clear. Beautiful first touch there from Exotic. Tees himself up, gives himself the opportunity to conjure up something. Here he is, wants the floor pinch and gets oh, it. It's going to be a bouncy boy. It's going to be typical oh, for Zeers. The last line of defense gets the save, but BDS continue to squeeze. Yeah, dangerous times here for Resolve. They need a hard clear. They need to get some kind of 50-50 or dribble to get the ball at defense. Or how about a passing play? Cash on the end of Razier's drop down. Now Demo's one. Exotic, not a lot of boost to get a big clear on this one. He does only get it as far as Razier's, who's dunked by Exotic. What a read by Exotic to keep Razier's at bay. The tightest game we've had for the last few. Cash and Exotic barely involved, both below 100 points. More than halfway through the game, Razier's is they're looking one of the more likely for Resolve right now as Ivan goes hunting for bumps and demos. Drali is passed to by Razier's and almost sends it towards his own goal. 
first time we've seen some near own goal opportunities in this one. As Cash goes to the floor pinch. Exotic sends it towards the skies where Aziz gets the catch. Is anyone going to be there for Team BBS? Uh -oh. No, but that oh. wasn't ideal. Drali's coming in, links a couple of touches, but Ivan holds his nerve. You know, playing for these slow motion flip reset passing plays, you've got to be so careful to get enough hit of a hit to the ball. Oh, that's a silly pitch off the post. What a play by Razier's to nearly take the lead. Result of other chances, and BDS are not there. It's the follow up for Razier's 1 0. In he comes. I was saying Razier's looked likely, but it was Ivan that squeezed the ball towards him. Razier's, I'd say he couldn't believe his luck, but Ivan knew exactly what he was doing with that challenge. And BDS once more on the cusp of defeat. Well, BDS have looked a lot more tame in this game compared to the previous ones. I mean, we asked about match point being tough for Resolve. Is it tough for BDS as well? As now they're finally playing for the win in a game for the first time this series. And they're not looking anywhere near as aggressive as they did in the last few games. Certainly looking more passive than before. I think they'll live to regret that if they can't find a way to steal back this series. Drily's got no boost. Razier's a clean touch. Does Mash have the shot him. here? Drily's just trying to bump him out of the way. Razier's. Oh, oh that's Charlie's open. Doing so much work. Monkey Moon's got the open goal. Monkey Moon's missed it. What? Monkey Moon, Charlie has missed it again. What? Oh. That was Double open net miss for Monkey Moon still. The ball is thinking about the pitch. Strong. And BDS have got chances. I cannot believe what I've just witnessed. But they've got a minute to fix it. Can BDS get another opportunity? I mean, that was all for Resolve misplay as well. They quit the worst 50-50 of all time, but they've got away with it. This has become a real epidemic right now for Monkey Moon. Whenever there's no goalkeeper, his legs turn to jelly. He can't smash the ball home. But will he get one more chance? He tees up Charlie. Charlie You're joking. Crossbar. Monkey Moon have a chance. No. He's <laughs> the crossbar again. Ivan getting a save. No, he can't. And it's cash. There's no boost. It's chaos up and down the pitch right now. Resolve still keep this slender lead. 20 seconds left until the upset of the day, even compared to the one earlier. Ivan's up. He goes to the sky. Charlie with a touch. Monkey Moon's chasing cash. He gets it. Oh! And the Moroccan gets the late equalizer one more time. Well, BDS don't play crossbar challenge just before the end of the game. 13 seconds to go, and they have equalized. It's all to do again for Resolve. But if you told them at the start of the day they'd be tied game seven with BDS with one goal to win it, they'd take it. But can they take it now that that's on the line? Is Drally in the air with full boost? He's got a flip reset, misses the touch. Here's Razier's. Wants to get at this one towards Cash or Ivan. Great challenge from him. Cash could win it. No way. It's over. Drally misses. Oh! Yes, <laughs> yes, Are you joking? They come from their chairs in celebration. A hundred people storm the room. You can't. Are you joking? Videographers and all of them resolve. Hold their nerve. What a series. Absolute cinema by resolve. Quad match point.